Hey gang, welcome back to our vlog. This is Rick Conti, one of the top Corvette salesmen of the country. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, that sounded stupid. Yeah, I know it did. I guess the only reason I said it was just to let people know on the channel that you're dealing with somebody that's experienced, that's knowledgeable, successful in sales, and passionate about you as a Corvette customer, as a Corvette enthusiast, and passionate about Corvette from the retail entity. So that's what we do on this channel. We talk Corvettes, retail stuff, Corvette lifestyle. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, did you see our latest vlog? Matt was fantastic. Was that guy great? He made the vlog and he did some really cool things to his car. One thing I forgot to tell you about in the vlog, and we did ask and I just didn't put it in, was the horsepower. At the wheel, he had 610 foot-pounds of torque and 580 horsepower at the crank. The crank, at the crank, at the crank. He had 730 foot-pounds of torque and 700 horsepower. Matt, thanks again for bringing that in. Hey, we got a lot of stuff to talk about in the vlog, so let's get going and let's roll the intro and I'm glad that you're here, woohoo! Hey, you know what? I love it when we do these, and then if I don't do an exhaust note, then I'll get lots of emails and comments on the video. Hey, Rick, where's the exhaust note? Hey, you gonna do one of those? Yes, I'm gonna do one. Just be patient. We got a lot to talk about in today's vlog. And just the success that we had in Matt Stingray vlog, I mean, gave you a different perspective on the car from the owner and for me driving it. Well, we've got two more appointments already to feature two more cars here in the vlog. One, one I may not drive. Cause I'm scared. You need to be scared of any car called Spooky. That's the name of the car, Spooky. And he calls his car Spooky. Uh, it was a regular Corvette that he bought from us in 2013, and you'll never recognize it now. Another one that we sold is Jeff here in Ohio. Actually, he lives pretty close to the store. Bought one of the first 2014 Stingrays. Had he known the Grand Sport was coming, might have saved himself 30 grand. He's done a lot more than just body kit to that car. In fact, we mentioned Ben from Weapon X in our previous vlog. Well, the wheels that he had on his car three years ago at the National Corvette Museum and actually won an award with, those exact wheels are on Jeff's car. And some other neat things he did to the the car just fantastic so we're gonna feature that car here's the cool thing about that not only are we gonna feature the car and show you hopefully we'll get that in before we travel to Bowling Green that car is gonna be for sale so stay tuned for that it's a kick-ass looking car red just it's beautiful man hey this part of the vlog real quick is just the behind the scenes vlog we had, we had Ken ask us on the channel, he says, hey Rick, I'd really like to see your uh, production team and the behind the scenes scenario with your vlog. Uh, dude, you're looking at it. It's nothing, it's me. It's me walking around with a camera, man. And then me sitting hours and hours in front of the computer, editing, 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 editing. So nothing fancy, but I'm just glad we can put it together where it becomes entertaining and informative for you guys. So thank you so much for asking for that. Oh my gosh, if I get one more email or text message on this Dodge Demon, I'm gonna just freaking go nuts. If those emails and the text message and the comments keep coming, I'm gonna feel like I've got that lanyard around my neck like I did in Indianapolis. Spun around, I was like, <laughs> Here's what's funny about the Demon. Some of the numbers that they put up in their press release and their horsepower and all that, well, there was a little asterisk. It's right there, oh, right there, where is it, right there? Where is it? Where is that thing? <laughs> They're all over the place on the release of that car. Yeah, you had to use 100 octane gas. Okay, we're gonna find that. We're gonna find that at BP. <laughs> You're not gonna find that at Costco. You had to take the front seat out. You had to take the back seat out. So <laughs> it doesn't rate what they said off the showroom floor. So whatever, that's fine. That's a straight line, fast ass car, no doubt about it. But I still think today, if you take a stock Z06, go on a road course, Spring Mountain, for instance, we'll smoke you. It's time now for a quick shout out. Hey, you don't have to yell. I'm not, it's just a figure of speech. I just want to say hi to some people watching on the channel. All right, the first shout out goes to Gregory Chiametti. Hey, did I say that right? How about that? South Carolina, he's a disabled veteran. Thank you so much for your service, buddy. And thank you for your passion. He loves Corvettes. And he's about ready to stop dreaming and start driving. Good to hear from you the other day, Greg. Appreciate it, man. 
Hey, and the other shout out goes to my friends and a lot of customers up there at Corvette Cleveland. Why Corvette Cleveland? They're going to celebrate their 60th anniversary. That's incredible, man. Way to go. Congratulations. You guys are fantastic. I love being a part of your Corvettes at Corsa show. I just wish more of you would be willing to make a couple hour drive south down here to Columbus because I'm confident that we can help you. I know what you're paying up there and it's too much. It's fantastic to see a club intact for 60 years. And this is not a club that just drives and goes and gets ice cream. They do some racing events and things like that. You guys, you guys are the complete package. Congratulations on 60 years, Corvette Cleveland. We've got so much going on, I can't even fit it in this vlog, but uh, coming up at a future vlog as I throw the fish hook out there, I uh, keep me little, keep me watching. <laughs> but Bruce, he says, hey Rick, I, I've done stop dreaming. I'm ready to start driving. The problem is, is he's got a four inch little speed bump as he goes into a secure area at his development. So coming up, we'll show you pictures of that. And because there's a little bit of a pitch, I think I'll have no problem getting over that, but we'll actually do a little demo to assure him he'll have no problem driving over that each and every day. In brand new Corvette. Okay, and real quick on the vlog, before I show you more about this 2016 Corvette that I'm sitting in that is just drop dead gorgeous, a quick thank you video we got from one of our viewers and a recent winner on the vlog is Scott. Check out this home video he sent us. Forgive me. Anyway, uh, have a good one. Thanks again for the hat. <laughs> Scott, that was fantastic. I loved it, man. I loved it. Thank you so much for the effort and your support here on the YouTube channel. Congratulations, man, and thumbs up. Hey, hey, every step of the way, we're keeping you up to date on 2018 ZR1 Corvette. Uh, what car is that? You guys know what car we're talking about, and we know that it's coming. We broke it for you first on the internet when we showed you the caliper color within the dealer ordering system that said ZR1 Blue. Guess what? Somebody's watching. Hello! Because now those notations are no longer in the GM system. Furthermore, and thanks to our buddies at Autoblog, and thank you for those high resolution shots, we're able to zoom in. <laughs> Be able to zoom in on the wheel, and there it is, stamped on there, just like Z06 is, stamped on the wheel at Nuremberg ZR1. Look at this. I told you it's coming. Would you guys just relax? Everybody relax. You know why you gotta relax? Cause it's gonna be a while before that car's out. Oh my gosh. But keep this in mind, right now, as this vlog is aired, you can enter in a 2018 order. You wanna enter in a Carbon 65 edition, you wanna enter in a Stingray, you wanna enter in a Grand Sport Z06, not a problem, I can do that for you with flexible pricing. You can email me at the email address up on the screen. I guess the good news about this whole thing is, hey, the car's coming, all right? Don't believe any of that other crap. It's coming. Hey, here's something pretty cool I'm excited to share with you on the vlog. A while ago, Vinny Cantori saw one of our vlogs. Oh, you recognize that name? Cantori, as in Jim Cantori from the Weather Channel. Vinny's his brother, big Corvette fan. He made a lot of nice compliments to us about our channel here and our passion and enthusiasm for Corvette. So Vinny, thank you so much for that. Uh, he had referenced one of the vlogs where I kind of mentioned Jim, where I was out in the snow acting like a goofball. I wanted to feel like what Jim Cantori feels like when he's broadcasting from a hurricane. I'm Rick Corvette Conti, selling Corvettes in a snowstorm. I guess Jim saw it, got a kick out of it, and he was kind enough to send us this autographed picture where it says, Rick Corvette Conti, you can't drive 55. Hey, Jim, you're right, and thank you so much for the autograph. Dan, I'm actually one of those weather geeky guys. I was coming back from Indianapolis, and I saw it for the first time in real life. And 
I watch all the TV shows, but I saw one of those weather chaser vans and all this stuff spinning around on top. And uh, the storm was a swirling and there was something coming, that's for sure. Uh, I darn near pulled over and was just gonna hang out with the guy just to see what uh, what was coming, you know? It was, it was pretty cool, so. Keep up your fun and your hilarity as you cover the weather and I'll take care of the car thing for you. Take care, man. Okay, now it's time for you know what? Exhaust note. Okay, so yeah, I'm sitting at a 2016 Corvette convertible right now. Still a couple of new ones left. Some amazing deals on them. Uh, let's face it. I think GM made too many. Yeah, they probably made too many. Uh, just great opportunities for you folks. And sometimes because we have so many Corvettes on the lot, you can't really appreciate the one that I'm trying to show you. So you gotta take it away from everything so you can just isolate it and look at that car specifically. So that's what we're gonna do. You know, we do such a big volume with Corvette that you, know, you would say to yourself, well, how in the heck do you still have this car. Well, besides the fact that the production was just horrendous and just huge in 2016, over 40 some thousand cars, and it's easy where the focus would get changed from day to day depending on what we're doing or what Chevrolet's doing, uh, and it's easy in the big mix of things for something to get lost in the shuffle. This car, unique as it is, got lost in the shuffle. We have the deal for you on this 2016 Stingray convertible. It is a one of one for 2016, featuring the canceled shark gray color. And check this out, the factory full length stripe comes over top of the car, the dual stripe comes over the top of the car, comes through the waterfall, comes down over the trunk lid, and yes, down the ass end of the car. So you folks that have GM supplier or possibly GM employee or even Corvette owner loyalty, hey, you can use all of those programs in addition to the discount that we have. In addition to all that, you can also finance the car 0% for 72 months. That's a pretty cool deal. All right, let's show you some more of the car. Zoom out here, just get a little more appreciation of the car. Something different. So we ordered the black emblems. That was worth, yeah, I'm in the shadow. That was worth the 100 bucks. Did the black wheels, yellow calipers, yellow stripe, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did 3LT and did the yellow stitching in here to match. So it's a combo that many of you wouldn't have thought about, but now that you see it, you're like, you know what? That doesn't look so bad. This car gets your attention, be a show attention getter. Just a great riding car, great equipped car. It's a 3LT, so you have your navigation, you have your PDR camera, you have the front curb cameras, you've got the heated, you've got the vented seats. We've added that carbon fiber dash, so you finish it and you class that thing out all the way, the right way. forgot to tell you about Paul. We kind of teased it in the previous vlog. Well, Paul saw the Costco video and he says, you know, seeing you take all that stuff and the user friendliness of Corvette, well, that reminded me of what I just went through when I moved recently. So check out all the stuff that Paul was able to put in the back of his Corvette. And yes, if you remember, we alluded that he put a full-size refrigerator in the back of a Stingray. Well, it was just the doors, but that was still pretty crazy. Check this out. Hey Paul, thanks for sharing that with us. I really appreciate it. And also congratulations, I think you were a recent winner here. See, I told you we had a lot to go over today. Just a lot of little stuff, but all together, it makes for a Corvette vlog. So thanks again for joining us. And don't forget, now here I'm still trying to, I told you I'm trying to figure out this YouTube thing. I've been vlogging not even quite five months yet. Heck, I didn't even know I was supposed to ask you to subscribe to the channel. So please do that too. Hit the thumbs up, like button, all that stuff. Hey Scott in Florida, I know you watched the vlog. Your car's here, dude. Check that out. Yeah. <laughs> Be talking to you soon, buddy. I'm 
currently deployed in the Middle East right now, and I am in the Air Force. I fly a B-52. Uh, don't post that. Oops, sorry, I just did. <laughs> Boy, we got a lot of stuff coming up for the vlog, and thank you so much for the input, for your ideas, for your support. Again, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel. We want to see you over and over again, and a lot of the feedback that we're getting from you folks is fantastic. So thank you so much for that. Uh, I can't wait to see a lot of you in Bowling Green. That's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, looking forward to that. I look forward to that event all year long. And hey, remember, if you're going to stop dreaming and you're going to start driving, well, I want to be your guy. I want to earn your business, and I want to be a part of your Corvette family. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>